I can't believe you don't. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as the other? You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. Charlie. My client appreciates the work you did with his rat problem. Now, if you're buying, let's hear what you want. It's getting dark yeah. out there, people. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. All quiet. It's kind of balmy. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Hello again. Something I can do for you? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. There's something else I can help you with? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but... Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Brother Thomas. That's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. You should talk to Brother Thomas. Hey there. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. I just need to make sure she's okay. You've got my word. She's fine. She's just staying in her room right now. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. You should know that we are, regrettably, quite skilled in the use of violence. Wow. You went right to throwing your weight around. I thought we were friends. If you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here, I'll unlock the door for you. It's all yours, neighbor. We don't have anything to talk about. Mm -hmm. 
Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Well, actually it was Edward, but close enough. Edward, who works for Jack. I know Jack was behind this. He's always trying to control me. You don't seem very grateful for being rescued. Well, maybe technically I was not allowed to leave. So, thank you. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first.